All right, going in at game one, first set of 64. So my understanding is Snake actually does all right in this matchup. I'm not sure on the specifics, but I was doing some research on a bunch of sort of matchups and different characters and stuff. And most people seem to agree that Snake tends to kind of do pretty well into this character. I think the crouch probably would play a huge factor, and like Sora with his huge sword is probably going to be swiping at grenades a lot and just hitting grenades in shield and getting traded with a lot because of that. Yeah. And that's probably going to work out a lot in Finn's favor. I don't know how many... Uh, snakes are in New, uh, New Zealand as well, which is going to be interesting to see how well like Alistair knows this matchup. Similarly, though, there's no Sora's in like all of Australia, really, so Finn might not know this matchup at all. But I think from from Finn's perspective, the opponent, the opposing side, is a bit more of a fundamental kind of matchup than than Snake going into Snake. It's like not fundamental at all, really. It's a very unique character, unique elements, very strange character. So first stock on Finn there, but it's not too far behind. Like Finn's like still at 90. If you could do some little extra work here, get a solid lead, like securing it. But right now, like Alistair could lock it in and, and take out that first stock, evening it out. Trying to make it work. Missing the up smash out of the ice. Very hard to connect that because you never really have the right timing for when they're actually going to mash out. It's a bit inconsistent. Like ice moves just tend to be really hard to actually get true punishes out of. I don't think there is a technically a true punish. Yeah, it's all just timing and reactions. It's really difficult to do properly. It's, it's like, it's tricky because he's like not playing terribly at all. He's like doing his best to whittle his way in, but Finn just getting these like dips and dops, these little chips every little bit. And now he's added up to oh, fucking 100%. And now he's taking the uh, second stock before the first one's been taken. This is looking a little rough for Alistair in his first game, but it's not over yet. Just a few small interactions here in Alistair's favor, and then a few simple at with neutral wins, and he could take the lead back, but let's see if he can pull it off. And oh my god, getting into that forward air spike into the up smash. Oh my fucking god. And counter the grenade. That's fun. Side be back on the stage to reclaim the stage control. That's nice. And we're back in the neutral. Let's see if he can do something here, but he's already copped 80, even though it looked like he was doing like pretty fine. I don't know. And that's the Finn's first dot gone. And Alistair on 83 in his last. Oh, that could have been it. And that is it with that up tilt on the... It was like a little mini frame trap. Not a true frame trap because he could have, like, directional air dodged a different direction. But usually air dodge down. It's a frame trap there. You missed up there. You get the up tilt on the platform. Game one going to Finn there. That was tight. Alistair, like, not playing badly at all. But just with Snake, when you're going even like that, Snake gets all these little chip damage and, like, little bits and bobs that add up in his favor more than you do. If you don't know what, like how to like force that into your favor, it's really, really tricky to get in. It is possible to kind of manipulate situations so that the trades and stuff are happening more in your favor than Snake's, because Snake has to still force trades. But if you don't know how to, like, how to force it, it's really difficult. We'll see if we can do something different here. If you, if you really want to clip, you could just reach over and press it. But yeah. Also trying to pay attention. Yeah, no worries. Sora, All right. Going again too, same characters, no, no reason to change. Feeling s confident in this matchup. Or confident in his character, probably more so. Going PS2 this time, I think it's probably a good choice for Sora. I think the different size platforms will work better in his favor, and the bigger stage gives like Snake less room to cover. You coming in? Yeah, yeah, sure. I don't see why not. <laughs> You kind of right. You kind of right. We got Ellis sitting down, oh, Mister Flex. All right, let's see. Take me back. I was thinking simple, simple and clean before. You, now you're a Sora lover, right? I'm a Sora lover. You're kind of a, a Sora but boy lover. I'm a, I'm a Finn fan as well. Yeah, yeah. You know? Oh no, I'm a Finn. That's true, actually. Yeah, we're all. This Finn one's. Fans. This one's. Um, you're like. It's more to say that you're one of the few people I know <laughs> who likes Sora. I'm, yeah, I'm a Sora guy. Yeah, no, that's fair. That's fair. I think, like. Fun character to spectate as well, depending I, on how they play. Yeah, I think that's fair. I think that's reasonable. I, I think th Alistair's, Alistair's pretty fun with it. Can be. I think he, can, he mixes it up, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's fun. It, I, was, it, I was just saying before how fucking... Why does short hop fair on Snake look so cunty? <laughs> cunty? What you, like, oh, like, like Snake's short like hop fair. Like he's mid-vogue. Oh, yeah. I get, I get what you mean. Yeah. No, that's funny. Dude, Alistair's struggling. It's a. I reckon this is, looks tough. It is. I was, I was saying earlier. I was researching a bunch of matchup data for different characters recently. Go. That was a good first stock. Uh, this is 
most people agree this is very much snake favor. And I can kind of see why. Like, Sora's really struggling to get in. And every time he does, he'll, like, trade with a grenade. And it's just like, um, now I'm back out, and I took 10. Like, fuck. <laughs> and it just keeps whittling away. That's always just kind of playing snake, though, right? Is that yeah, yeah. It's a game of, like, you don't want to really want to be trading a lot. No. Like, no, it's like there's, there's some characters that can force trades more in their favor that, like, Snake's getting worse off for it than they are. Mm. But, like, it doesn't seem like Sora can really pull that off here. It's like, I don't know what he could be doing differently. Oh, there's there's Gabby. All right, thank you, Ellis. Oh, ooh, that was a, that was a nice question. Hot dog! Get your hot dog. We have here. a wiener. Hello, sorry, it's Saren. Hi, it's I was getting here. food and I was... Um, I forgot, I forgot that I was here. Anyway. Oh, yeah, no, I had the same thought last night because we switched our slots. I, yeah, I was same. going to sleep. I went to bed at like 1 a.m. And I was oh. like, I don't want to do redemption. I kind of show up for HDR. It's like yeah. 1 o'clock. And then I went to sleep thinking like I have so much time in the world. <laughs> I woke up at 9. I was like, oh, I have to comment at 12. I forgot. Ah. I remembered it up until like uh, 20 minutes ago. And I was like, yeah, yep. I'm trying to go get food. Yeah, and I was like, yeah. oh, God, no. I know what you mean. <laughs> it's all good. It's but, still um, in the first set. Only second game. You haven't missed much. Nice, nice. Um, so here's the, here's the thing. I oh, was yeah, you, know, to, you know Snake? Yeah, I know Snake. I was talking yeah. to Finn about this matchup. Um, so basically, as Snake, you want to play outside of mid range and out, yep. outside of Sword's burst range. Play really patient if he's pressuring your shield. Yeah, he's doing the thing where he's Z nading to catch the nade and then doing Nikita. Yeah. So that he can apply pressure from a range, but he always has a grenade near him to, to like shield um, and like hold to, it. To like shield and hold yeah. it just to alleviate some of that pressure that's right. No, yeah, that makes sense. That's such a good strat too. Yeah. yeah. Just like, oh I'm doing a zoning tool, mm -hmm. and if you get past the zoning tool, go fuck yourself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like you can't even do anything once you do get in. It's like so it's like such a clever little So Alpha trap. has to play very careful around that. And just then he forgot where C4 was. Oldest trick in the book. I yeah. I love that shit. <laughs> This is gonna make me want to learn Snake. I learn Snake. I like Snake. Snake's fun. <laughs> I love Snake. Fun. I usually struggle with his physics because he's so floaty and it's a little strange. Yeah, yeah. But like, I, I like the idea of Snake a lot. Like, labbing Snake and doing grenade tech is so fun. And yeah. But you, your beer versus have to be on point, otherwise you're not playing Snake. Nah, for sure. Oh, I got the parry, but he f tilted the wrong way. This is like, it's kind of, like this was looking, this game is so much more in Alistair's favor than before. He's doing a lot better, but what, now. What, ha what happened last game? Well, now at this point, this is looking more like what happened first game. Wow. Oh, yeah. He was doing really well, playing really even, and then like, he just couldn't take that first oh, stock nice. of Finns, and it all just kind of spiraled. Yep. And now he's taking that stock, but he's yep. at 96. This is a really difficult position. Yeah. I, I put my piss coin on, piss coin on Finn because Finn is my friend, and also I like Yeah, Snake. no, uh, Queensland pride, of course. Yep. But um, I, I was talking to Alistair and he said it's uh, uh, Sora does have tools to get in and like pressure Snake, but yeah. you got you got to play very careful around the grenades. It's yeah, it's a really tricky thing because Sora's sword swipes are so fucking huge. Yeah, being able to actually hit Snake's shield and pressure him without hitting the grenade he's holding really fucking hard. I imagine like he's he's got such a big sword. It's like you got to yeah. space that shit really precisely and not hit that grenade. Exactly. And then like if you do. Fuck it, boom. Bye. Now Snake hits you. Explosion. <laughs> yeah. Hit. He's at 160 and he's so light too. Like he's just probably dead off almost anything. Don't get right grabbed. Now. Yeah, now grab is a true kill. And yep. that could have been it, but he did have a grenade actually. Yeah, no. Finn was smarter than me. Yep. See, in me in that situation, I was drop shield, turn around, grab him. Uh -huh. Then I explode. See, but with playing Snake, you have to be so aware of yeah. the of the uh, grenades and, and the timings on them. Yeah, Otherwise, and like what you've done yep. with them, yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> or like, oh, that's it. Down yeah. tilt, really? Yeah, nice. That was like a few down tilt kills in like one set. Yeah, down tilt is such a good move. Yeah. Such a good move. I mean, it was, it was like 200, right? But still like, when you get to that percent, having a move like that that will securely get that kill is really nice. To have, like, all reliable. Low profile is everything. It's mm. got hella range and kills at really high percents. Yeah. So good. Super like, just like a reliable, old faithful, like, if nothing else works, I know down tilt will work. Yeah. Like, mm. Snake definitely has the tools to be able to deal with Sora. Yeah. Because I, I had Alistar as my round one yesterday. And yeah, yeah. I was talking to Finn, and, and Finn was giving me a lot of great advice, but I couldn't apply it because I was like, I was like under a lot of pressure or whatever. Yeah. But like, so from what I can tell, Finn really knows this matchup. But also, I believe Alistar in New Zealand plays. A lot of snakes. I was wondering that. I don't know. I was mm. uh, like asking. But I, I heard. I heard. I was asking say. no one because there was no one here. But like, yeah. I don't know how many snakes are in New Zealand. I don't. I know think how. there's a couple of like prominent ones. Okay. Cool. Yeah. I didn't know that. You know, the only uh, New Zealand players I know are like ICK, Alistair, yeah, uh, Ichigo, and that one Pichu player who I don't remember. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, uh, that's like I don't know much about the scene aside from that. Oh, and that uh, that Pikachu guy who's retired. Now. Oh yeah, yeah. Um. So yeah, I didn't know if they if he has like. Super magic knowledge. He is playing like really well. It's yeah. just like 
that slight difference is yeah. it's eking tricky. out towards Finn's favor, yeah. and then it just keeps going that direction. It's so tricky for Alistar to play around grenades because yeah. Finn's grenade play is I envy every time I see ah. You tried to put us up till that was your first it mistake. So wrong. <laughs> oh my god. Snake's crazy, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Snake is uh, what his may refer to as BS. Yeah, I. Oh, nice patience on catching the landing. That was nice, yeah. Mm. I just, yeah, in my mind, I always, I really think of Snake as like a, uh, he's a snowball Get character. Yeah, that was definitely. tight. That was you good. Cannot, you cannot let him run away with the game. What's this? Yeah, even like, you could be playing and winning just as many interactions as he is, but slowly without realizing it, he's fucking running away with the game. Yeah, He's absolutely. getting all the percent lead every, because, like, every little bit. It's a, it's, it's, like, a, oh it's a mental game as well. Like, yeah, top, players sure. have, top players have really good mental, but a lot of this, a lot of Snake's game plan is, hey, let's throw grenades until yep. I whittle down your mental. Yeah, so I want to. So I want to make you, a mistake. I want to get you pissed off at me, so then you run at me more, and then you run yep. into more grenades. Yeah, yep. for sure, it's a big thing. But this game is quite quite even. Also, playing a lot better. Yeah, this is like a lot tighter. Mm -hmm. But then again, that second game, this was kind of where they were at that po at this point in the game too. Oh yeah. And then it was like right about here was where Finn started running away with it. Yeah. So let's see if Alistair can like keep up this pace and maybe like put it in and then score the game. But nice. Oh, that was the a down nice tilt, low profile, the, the <laughs> it was, saga. It was funny. Oh, Ooh, <laughs> air dodging through the lightning. I was tired and just getting hit by the grenade. I didn't think it was that big. Yep. Oh, he's holding the grenade. That's not good. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh he, he knew. knew it. He knew okay, it. Okay, yeah. God. <laughs> oh, oh, he's air frozen. Oh, oh, nice punish. That's hard to punish out of ice. Yep. The timing. Well aware of it. Let's see where he goes. This could be like a stock soon, and that's a grenade. Yeah, they're both, they're both a kill percent. Ah! All right, so oh, he tried. To, he tried to get in, but okay. the thunder didn't. Yeah, something. Something I've, uh, Alistar told me after our game is that oh, uh, if you if he thunders in the wrong place, you can just roll past it and punish him. He could have No it. way! Oh, I mean, like it's so like rough sometimes to like keep a beat on where that move is gonna send you. Yeah, like down it. It sends you in a weird direction. Yeah. Because I wasn't sure he was going to go left or right. Yeah. And he went into the stage. He had to fucking take it. It stands forward most of the time. Oh. Yeah, but then it's like hard to keep track of what is forward for Snake. Because like, yeah, I don't yeah. know which way he's facing there. Mm. They have not even. even. Even stocks now. This is like the closest I think this game has been yeah. in this set. Uh, <laughs> nice. That's good. Uh, really cool Z Nate tricks into blow himself up twice. Yeah. That's the classic. classic Snake combo. It's a grab. He doesn't get a punch on the grab because the Snake Finn gets the grenade out in time. Mm. Oh, tried to oh, get the no, conversion up, but yeah. just do it twice. It works. It does work. It's kind of <laughs> crazy. That grab with thing. Let's see what else they can get off oh, wow. it. Wow. Wow. That really? That's it. Wow. Kill him off Very the top. good by Alistair. Securing that kill at the that last was a chance he could have. Great conversion. Great conversion. That was crazy. Yeah, but yeah, I was talking about like he, he was running that first two games, but Alistair is thinking about like, okay, where are my windows to get in? Yeah. And what follow ups can I get on yeah. based, based on what hits? Uh, I can get on him in neutral. Yeah. Now he was. Look, he looked. He found that like little perfect opening of like this Snake. is the chance to fucking kill him now, right now, and I'm not gonna get another fucking chance. <laughs> yeah. Fuck me. Snake is hard to find those openings. Exactly. Um, I bought a hot dog from the food truck, but I don't know if I should eat a hot dog on stream. That's a uh, paid content. Can you just said something to me? I clearly can't hear How him because I got he? headphones in. Yeah. And I looked at him and I was like, what? And he just goes. <laughs> so of course. Then he sits down and he goes again, and I'm just like, what I don't know what you said, bro. What are you fucking saying I don't know what you said. <laughs> anyway, we got game four. Yeah. Back to PS2. It seems like we're just going back and forth. Both yeah. both players have picked. I feel PS2. like both, both players are very comfortable on the stage. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. It's just a great stage for like everyone. Yeah. This is like that one snake stage where it's like. It's like every stage, but FD is good for Snake. But yeah, it's yeah. like you can only ban so many. <laughs> so this is usually the one that Snake's end up going to because yeah. it's like this is the one they won't. No one will ban because the others are worse. But it's still really good. Yeah, yeah. So it's, like, it's just a numbers game at that so point. Of course, like, the what, what are stages pick are the least terrible? Exactly. <laughs> yeah, and the, this is usually the one where it's at the cusp of the bans. Where do they? It's like it's like I'm gonna ban Battlefield. I'm gonna ban Smashville. <laughs> and uh, fuck. Uh, okay, we're gonna piss too. The le the lesser of seven evils. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, but Alistair Biel doing a good job. Nice patience there. Oh, not oh. killing that. Careful, no! no that's the oh, one. He pulled the grenade to try and trade, but... Alistair now with the he stock lead. He, he should have just air dodged past first, it. I, first time? No, not the first time in the set that he's had a stock lead, but first time he's had a stock lead this notable. Like, yeah, yeah. At 70%, this is quite a not hefty lead. Like, really. He could die, of course, yeah. at any moment, but this is like a lower percent for this, right. this stock. Oh! Oh! No, clanking with the fire. That's funny. Oh, uh, just to get the, the follow up. Up, up, tilt. The up tilt. I hate that. I, yeah, I, that move's terrible. I do that shit all the time. Yeah. It's like, it's like, of course, it's like super good. 
just like so many situations where you're like, ah, I can get snake. Yeah, and then it's no, like, no, no, wait, no. I exploded. No. Uh oh, I exploded. <laughs> I exploded. <laughs> Alright, yeah, and Finn is of course doing that thing, doing the Z nade into Nikita, which is just so, so good. such yeah. a such a good option in neutral. Uh, oh, but he's getting jungle place. here a bit. He's a, he's eighty percent behind. Shit, yeah. Oh my god. This is yeah. a this is a position now where like. Oh wow. Snake going for trades is gonna be like really risky and scary yeah. and often like a bad idea. Because you're so close to a trade killing you potentially. And yeah. like that's like you don't want that. <laughs> All right, and yeah. It's a platform land, he doesn't get a punish. He gets the C4 there! and he drops the shield right as he gets the C4. Bro, you were scared. He was scared. He, he may have tried to parry it, I don't know, yeah. but like didn't work out. Yeah, no. Now we're like basically even percent after oh. that one. Oh my god! Advantage state. Oh that was that, that, that the was grenade so almost scary. converted to the Nikita. I can't believe that side B just oh. ended right there. It didn't go off the yeah, Alistar cannot, cannot let uh, Finn get to him like this. Let's see where he goes with this. Thunder. Ooh, that, that thunder breaks the grenade, which is nice. Yeah. Ah! You can also crouch under fire, but I'm not sure True. how useful that is. Yeah, it, I think it would be useful depending yeah. on the situation. Yeah, but uh, Finn normally wants to be in grenade stance and always yeah. have a grenade near him. And that's the hard To part. always apply that pressure. So and if you're in the grenade stance in the wrong way, like, fire yeah. will detonate the grenade. Oh, <laughs> no, he could have punished it. He was do, True. wasn't quick enough on the updraw. Yep. See, I like uh -oh. that. I like that, that punish from Finn <laughs> there with the down throw where, like, you don't have any true reads, mm -hmm. but just run in. Yeah. Because then you keep stage control if you miss. Yeah. And if they roll in, because a lot of time they will roll in, because yeah. they want stage control. Yeah, you win. <laughs> but I, but on uh, extra layer on that, he had a grenade behind him. Yeah. So he, I think he was playing the game where I was like, oh, because there's a grenade behind him, most players will not want to roll into the grenade. That's true as well. Yeah. yeah. No, All right, up throw killing though, Alistair. Up throw great is yeah. back. He's adapting quite well to Snake. Snake. Sven could take this shock real quick, but if yeah. Alistair runs away with it, gets a few more like trades in. Oh! <laughs> I was ready for that. <laughs> Oh my god. I didn't even realize he was Finn holding a grenade. so good. I love his awareness <laughs> of grenades so, so much. I was not fucking ready. That's our guy. There. In the, and now oh, he's just going to play the game of keep up down. Up Up smash. Oh my god. The numbers just, are, they're racking up. They're racking up. What do they like mean? Alistair has to find his way in here. These little the numbers, Mason. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> what do they mean? Oh, we could have grabbed. Oh, oh down, down to converting into the, holding into the, the grenade. grenade, into the up air. So good. Finn's crazy, dude. Love Finn. Finn's That's our guy. Uh, Ooh, that's oh it. no! Sora, oh. Sora is so light. Very he dies good. to up tilt there, like definitely. Yeah, Sora is so light. That was a great set. Yeah, that was. I yeah. really like that. Like, Alistar was like adapting and catching up at the end, yeah. but like Finn was. You no, know, I'm like, like, oh, I'm still Snake. No hate to Alistar. I'm a famous Sora hater. And then when Ella sat down 